Hi, welcome back. If you've watched my previous back videos, you know by now you should be comfortable with a gentle stretching exercise routine for your low back and your pain should be under control before you watch today's video. By the end of this video today, you'll have a progressive, advanced core strengthening routine to keep your back happy and healthy for years to come. So once you've calmed down the pain in your back and your motion is back to nearly normal, you need to start strengthening all the muscles in your core. Now your core includes it, your abdominal muscles. So all the muscles in the front of your body, the muscles in the side of your body, abdominal muscles, and then all the muscles in your back. Um, and we also wanna include the glutes and the hip muscles because those obviously tie into the lower back and they really affect the health of your back. And they're very commonly weak in most of us. If you're dealing with back issues or you have in the past, I would do daily stretching for your back. Once things are calmed down and under control, add in some strengthening. So you can start with the modified versions of what I will show you today and then work up to the more advanced. So do add that in daily. Once things have calmed down and you're getting pretty much back to normal, back to your, um, your normal activities, normal function, you're not having any issues with your back, then I would add, I would continue to do some daily stretches if you need it. The strengthening I would do three to four times a week. So that is going to allow you to maintain what you've built up and just keep your back healthy. And knowing that it takes six to eight weeks to build up that muscle, so give yourself some time. Yeah. And once you've had a back injury, you are more at risk for a repeat injury. So taking care of your back, strengthening and stretching it is a lifelong endeavor, just like maintaining your health. So here is your progressive advanced core strengthening exercise routine. All right, we are starting with bridges. So you're just gonna lift your hips up, use your glutes, and we'll switch to single leg bridges, keeping the pelvis level. And you want to do about 10 to 15 reps of each of these. Turn to even on both sides. Again, hips level once you switch. Nice slow and controlled movements. Next, we're gonna switch to a modified dead bug. So you're gonna lay, keeping your back flat, spine against the mat, knees bent, drop one knee, opposite arm goes overhead. Then we'll switch to the full version where the legs are straight. And drop as far down as you can, again, keeping your back flat against the floor of the mat. Next, we're gonna switch to bird dog. So this is on hands and knees, keeping your back flat, kind of pretending you've got something you're balancing on your back. A little tuck in, elbow to knee, opposite knee, and back out again. Slow controlled, 10 to 15 reps on each side. And then we're gonna switch to our plank series. So a modified plank, I'm on my knees and my elbows, holding for 30 up to 60 seconds. And I'm gonna switch to a regular plank. You can add in a hip extension alternating, 10 to 15 reps, a tall plank, then you can add in hip extension to get good glute strength. Here's a modified side plank. So my bottom knee is bent and I'm gonna add in a hip abduction. I don't want my leg going in front of me. I want it to stay nice and straight, straight line with my body. Then I'm gonna go into a full side plank with both knees straight stacked on top of each other and then you can add in that hip abduction too. 10 to 15 reps of those. 
So there you have it. You can start in the modified positions, work your way up to the more advanced positions. Always focus on slow, controlled movements with good form. Once you start to lose your form, um, because you're tired, stop and rest, then reset and try again. If you start to have pain, stop and rest. You can reset and try again if the pain goes away while you're resting. If it doesn't, move on to something else. If you continue to have pain with these exercises, with any of them or all of them, go back to the basic gentle stretching routine. Give yourself a break, let everything calm down for a good 24 hours, and then if it does calm down, you can reset and start back with the strengthening, with the modified strengthening, and then again, progress from there as you're able. So now you have an advanced core strengthening exercise routine to keep your back healthy and to keep you on the go. If this video was helpful, please like it, share it with your family and friends because we could all use a little bit more core strengthening in our lives and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my content. Thanks for watching.